So this is a subject I've been wanting to cover for a while, and I don't think people are doing it to be mean and cruel. I just think some people might not know there's a better way. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics, and in today's video we are going to be talking about whether or not it's still acceptable to use fish to cycle a tank, live fish. This is something that was very popular back before we knew anything about cycling a fish tank and beneficial bacteria, it was just the way things were often done. You would add fish to a brand new aquarium. You knew that some of the fish would be a little bit more hardy when starting a new aquarium. We didn't exactly know why way back in the day, but we just knew that as long as the fish made it through those first four to six weeks, things were probably going to be okay. You fast forward and we start learning about things like beneficial bacteria and the nitrogen cycle. If you want to learn more about that, don't know what it is, check out this video in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. I think it is absolutely a subject every fish keeper should know about. But basically what it means is you've got bacteria in a tank that eventually establish themselves that convert some very toxic ammonia that fish produce into slightly less toxic nitrite, but it's still toxic into something a lot less toxic and that's nitrate and we do our water changes to control that. Well historically what was done is people would just put fish in a brand new tank, they would produce the ammonia and then they would experience that ammonia spike and then later on a nitrite spike. The problem with doing that is that ammonia and that nitrite does some really bad things to fish. It destroys their gills, it causes a lot of stress. And basically what we're doing is we're adding fish to an ecosystem that isn't ready for them. The beneficial bacteria aren't there and they're basically swimming in poison for the first six to eight weeks that they're in your fish tank. So what does that do to them? When they're swimming in that ammonia, when they're swimming in that nitrite, it destroys their gills, it destroys their ability to obtain oxygen and eventually stresses them out and usually kills fish. Even if they make it through that process, the high levels of ammonia, the high levels of nitrite will stress the fish out, which will decrease their immune response. And so now the new fish keeper is not only dealing with that ammonia spike and the nitrite spike, now the fish are more susceptible to disease like fin rot and ick, fungal infections. And now not only are they trying to treat the ammonia and nitrite issues, they're also trying to treat infections that the fish wind up getting because they're stressed out. To make matters even worse, the medications that are used to treat these diseases will actually harm the beneficial bacteria that are trying to establish themselves in that new tank. And so it becomes this horrible negative feedback loop where you've got ammonia and nitrite, you're trying to do water changes, the fish are sick, you're adding medication that are actually doing harm to the beneficial bacteria, extending this fish cycling process. As a result, for people who are not used to keeping fish, new fish keeping aquarists, they wind up quitting. It's just too much work. They can't get their fish to live. Nothing is working. Usually in all of this, there's cloudy water and algae spikes and all kinds of horrible things. We have been at a point in this hobby for quite some time where using fish to cycle a tank just isn't necessary. There are better ways to do it. We've talked about them before. And by the way, I'm going to put a lot of info down in the description below about what happens when you've got an ammonia or nitrite spike, how to instantly cycle a tank. But there are two ways, one of which we actually just talked about last week. And that is if you've got a tank already running or you have a friend who's got a fish tank already running and their tank has been disease free for months and months, used filter media from that existing tank in the new tank will help cycle that tank and you can add small numbers of fish immediately. The other thing that we've done dozens of times in our fish room in addition to adding used filter media is using a product that has live beneficial bacteria, a product like Fritz Zyme 7 made by Fritz Aquatics. We are sponsored by Fritz Aquatics. This is a great product. We use it dozens of times. You add that product, you've got beneficial bacteria in the tank, small numbers of fish, lightly stocking your tank early on and you can avoid, avoid all of those issues with the ammonia and nitrite spikes. That's going to lead to healthier fish long term and a better experience for the fish keeper. So at this point, I don't think we should be using fish to cycle new tanks. We've got better options out there. Would love to hear from you. How do you cycle your tanks? Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one.